I've lived on this property for the last 12 years. I started in the guest house as a first product. And uh, while I lived there, I built the main house. And the reason the main house has the style and the configuration is because the guest house came first. And we want to match that for architectural correctness. So the two buildings complement each other. I'm the builder of this house and I am the developer of the entire neighborhood. I built most of the homes here. And I designed three quarters of the homes here. I chose this property because it is the end of the street and it also has the highest elevation of all the house lots on the street. It faces northward. It was gonna promise me good views with both the elevation and the sight lines of the road. So this was the lot that I chose to keep for myself. I did raise my children here and um, they're now young adults. So uh, yeah, yeah, we built it and raised our kids here. When I built this neighborhood 12, or started this neighborhood 15 years ago, um, all young families purchased land and had me build their homes. When all the homes were completed, we had 23 kids on this street. Some of them were newborns to 13 year olds, so it was a great place to raise a family on a dead end cul-de-sac. And uh, with all those kids, it was safe. Every parent was looking out, so these kids ran from one lot to another in one house. So it was a great environment to raise a kid on. Now, all these years later, they're all off and driving, and new people have moved in, and it's starting all over again. It's the next generation's turn. Well, you build friendships. You're in a neighborhood like this. Everybody knows everybody. It's a nice neighborhood. Um, everybody's tight. Everybody looks out for each other. You know, that type of friendship you don't get so much in big developments. This is only a 11 lot subdivision and um, people are close. So you never know what your neighbors are like. Around here, we've been fortunate. We've had all good people come and go over the years and it just always seems to remain a tight neighborhood. This home has the best views on the street. Um, because it sits the highest and faces north, you can see when those seasons are in bloom, probably a thousand feet. Uh, in the fall is the most beautiful time of the year. In New England, that pretty much goes without saying. But with this view, you see the trees. Most of the trees on this street are maples, and that's why it's called Maplewood Estates. So uh, the colors are vivid. You've got reds and yellows, and it's the most beautiful time of the year. So that is something I'll miss. But uh, it's all about the season change in New England, and this property has a great view of everything. Yeah, this development has on it a deed restriction. No changes will ever take place on this development. It can never be expanded. Um, no houses will be added. The road cannot be modified. 
and we have uh, protected it on two sides. Um, we added 25 acres to an existing 38 acre conservation parcel, which protects it forever. And um, of course the street is the front of the development. So there's only one side of this development that's still undeveloped land, and that's to the west. There are a lot of uh, wildlife in this area. Um, with all that conservation land and a lot of farms and apple orchards around us, uh, the wildlife is phenomenal. You wake up every day with either deer or, or turkeys. Uh, we've seen fox. It's, it seems like it's almost a, a wildlife preserve around here. But it's always nice to see, you know, different stuff showing up in your yard and passing through at all times of the year.